Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. So this video is about Cockney rhyming slang. First of all, what's a Cockney? You may not know, especially my viewers from across the pond. So a Cockney is a working class Londoner, and I shan't go into the etymological theories about that. Um, a Cockney was said to be born to the sound of Bow Bells. There's Bow, an area of London, and there's um, St. Mary Le Bow Church, as in, if you were, when you were born, you were close enough to that church such that you could hear those bells. Yeah, you would be a Cockney. That's the strictest definition. More broadly, it's any working class Londoner with a Cockney accent found throughout southeastern England. Obviously, the United Kingdom is not a huge country, but there is a very um, wide variety of accents there. So, a Cockney rhyming slang emerged in the, in the um, uh, mid-19th century. Certainly, that's as early as it was attested. Um, and it's a system whereby uh, people would use um, two words, sometimes with an and in the middle in addition, so sometimes it could be three, and it's the second word or the second significant word that would rhyme with the word you actually intend to say. Okay, for instance, and it, these, these words, these phrases would be well-known expressions, complicated. I, I think in this case, uh, example is more um, eloquent than explanation. For instance, Adam and Eve, um, that rhymes with believe. So if you were to say, I believe it, you could say, I Adam and Eve it. Everybody knows the phrase Adam and Eve. Eve rhymes with believe. What you actually mean is believe. I Adam and Eve it means I believe it, or I can't Adam and Eve it, I can't believe it. But then this expression Adam and Eve became so widely understood to signify believe, they simply chopped off the end of it and just say Adam, I can't Adam it. Everybody knows it means I can't um, believe it. In that particular case, they rarely truncated it to simply Adam. They tend to say Adam and Eve still. All right, um, so uh, let me elucidate it with another uh, case in point. The apples and pears, meaning the stairs, because that is a common phrase, apples and pears. So um, I'm going up the apples and pears. People would know it means stairs, stairs rhymes with pears. However, they would sometimes say, well, let's just leave off the and pairs bit and say going up the apples. And it would be widely comprehended that this indicates going up the stairs, okay? Because everybody recognizes the phrase as apples and pears, and pears is understood to indicate stairs because it rhymes with stairs. I hope I'm not laboring the point. Give me a butcher's hook, as in a meat hook. You'd, you'd hook a side of beef and hang it up there. So um, a butcher's hook is a look, let me look at it. Give me a look, give me a butcher's hook. But so they would just abbreviate that to a butcher's. Let me have a butcher's or take a butcher's at this. Everybody knows that means take a look at this. Um, my China plate. Plate meaning mate. Mate is, is friend. It's um, the equivalent of uh, buddy um, uh, in, in uh, British argo. So um, we've been China's for a long time. You read Borstal Boy by uh, Brenda Bean published in about 1950, and he's talking about being China's for a long time, China plate, because obviously it is not referring to the country so much as the material that came from there. Plates made like that, China, high quality porcelain, we used to call it China. Uh, China with a small C being porcelain, China with a large C being the country, cafe. So my China plate is my mate, as in my friend, or just my China. He and I have been China's for a long time. So we've been friends for a long time. Trouble and strife. This is one of the droll ones. Trouble and strife rhymes with wife. She is my trouble, as in she is my wife. Um, pony and trap. Well, uh, this is a vulgarity. Um, so your pony and trap rhymes with crap. We're talking about excrement. I'm going to go in there for a pony and trap. I was just um, abbreviate it to go in there for a pony, which bodlerizes it somewhat, um, uh, sanitizes it. So, and, and of course, the, the word crap, well, there's a theory that it's um, related to the name Thomas Crapper, as he invented the flush lavatory, lavatory, although some people have actually disputed that. I think it's a back formation. But we had the word crap to mean excrement or also to mean terrible. Um, and then there was this Thomas Crapper, this chap who was a plumber, and people had to explain, why do we use this word crap to mean excrement? Uh, oh, well, it's because of Thomas Crapper, and that's not necessarily the case. Saucepan lids rhymed with kids. So um, uh, so people just say saucepans, meaning children. Kids, of course, properly means young goats. But there we are. It's obviously come to mean 
uh, children. Um, radio rentals. I remember hearing this one in the late 90s. Rhymes with parentals, your parents, my radio rentals. I never heard that one um, abbreviated to radios, but there we are. There used to be a shop called Radio Rentals. Thing is, as recently as the 90s, people used to rent televisions, rent radios, could do higher purchase on them, things like that. Doesn't exist anymore. Um, front wheel skid. Well, this is um, a racial uh, barb. This is an epithet for a Jewish person. Front wheel skid. Perhaps I shan't say what it r rhymes with, but it's an appropriate word for a Jewish person. Just say so-and-so is a front wheel. Or indeed a four, part, four by two rhyming with a Jew. Obviously that's not insulting. That, that's the proper name of the Jewish people. But say, just saying um, he is a four or things like that. Duke of Fife rhyming with knife. Um, so I've got a duke. There could be dukes of loads of places. So the United Kingdom's only got about 24 non-royal dukes. So that's a very high heritable noble title. The duke and his wife is the duchess. Um, so uh, the dukes, they take their title from an area of land. Fife is in Scotland. So the Duke of Fife, he owned extensive estates in, in Fife, had the title the Duke of Fife. Even if he sold all his land in Fife, he would still have the title Duke of Fife. Um, so Duke is not a boy's name. It's um, a hereditary title in the British Isles. Scapa flow, uh, meaning go. So we're going to scapa. Scapa Flow is actually, it was actually a naval base in the Shetland Islands off the northern coast of Scotland. Doesn't exist anymore. But um, Scapa Flow, or Scapa, was then tended to, people used to pronounce it Scarpa, spelt S-C-A-R-P-E-R. -E Whereas Scapa, as in the place Scapa Flow, is S-C-A-P-A. -A. It was um, uh, a day of infamy for the United Kingdom when um, uh, HMS Royal, uh, was it the Ark Royal? This uh, huge aircraft carrier was sunk by a um, German U-boat. Fantastic coup for the Germans. And something like a thousand sailors um, died. So there's a war grave there. But scarpa is to go, often meaning like to run away. It's a bit ignominious if you're going to scarpa, or you're going to, it's like saying scram, or they just disappeared. They ran out of here. Whistle and flute rhymes with suit. I'm going to put on my whistle before I go out, put on my suit. So if you ever watch... Um, what's it called, uh, Chaplin, that film starring Robert Downey Jr. from the early 90s, he's, he's playing the title role, and they go to a restaurant, and he said, I'm here in my whistle, meaning I'm wearing my suit. So um, there are scores more examples of words from Cockney rhyming slang. It's somewhat in decline, partly because um, uh, estuary English, as in that accent from Southeast England, is in decline, is in decline generally speaking. Um, I don't mean RP, received pronunciation the way I speak, but Cockney rhyming slang. So the, the junior generation, certainly around about the noughties, they started to shift over more towards Jafakin, as in like fake Jamaican. Even people who had no um, Caribbean ancestry were sometimes speaking like that a little bit, not going all the way. Um, um, whites, um, South Asian youths as well. You may have seen Ali G. In the late 90s on the 11 o'clock show, there was this bit part for this character called Ali G, portrayed by Sasha Baron Cohen was always wearing these very expensive, extravagant shell suits and skiing goggles and stuff like that, sporting a, um, a goatee. And um, Ali, was he, was he a Muslim? Because it was Ali, really, then it slipped out. His real name was Alistair. Ali G, the G was for Graham. But he was um, hinting that um, he was of black Caribbean ancestry. Or was he um, South Asian? Because he had an uncle, Jamal, things like that. Well, Jamal's obviously just handsome in Arabic. He could be from any Arabic-speaking country or Muslim country. But no, um, because in the late 90s, Sasha Baron Cohen, he was presenting some, some youth program, speaking to some skateboarders in London. And then he started to speak to them in this um, uh, West Indian accent, even though he was completely white. And he thought these people would realize he was putting it on and just being silly, but they didn't. And these teenagers took him for genuine. And then he realized he'd struck comedy gold. Uh, he'd noticed this phenomenon of, of people with no West Indian ancestry, um, speaking in this West Indian patois. I suppose some of them felt it gave them more street cred, there was more macho or something like that. And so then he started to, to do that and be racially ambivalent. Sasha Baron Cohen, he's a white Jewish guy. His um, skin tone is just slightly swarthier than the average white. And on that basis, then he was claiming he was black and things like that. So um, that was partly the, de the decline of Cockney rhyming slang. I don't think it's not entirely disappeared. It may never disappear altogether. You can buy a whole dictionary of several hundred words of uh, Cockney rhyming slang. So um, it's a fascinating code within English. 
uh, there is a theory that it was invented by um, uh, delinquents in the in the uh, mid 19th century to evade detection by the police, as in the police couldn't comprehend what they were speaking about um, because they were using this uh, system. So that's Cockney rhyming slang.